Welcome back to the Cal Dynasty, and today we got our big board set up. Tim Baker, he's from California. He's looking at USC, UCLA, and Stanford, so we have our work cut out for him, but I want to get our O-line right. We also got this middle linebacker, also from California. This left tackle from Michigan, so between us, Michigan, Notre Dame, and Ohio State, those are his top four, and hopefully the weather can persuade him to come to our school because I want some Big Ten type offensive linemen, just some nasty big boys that will maul you and do whatever we got to do to open up the lanes for our running backs. We are ranked number 27. They're ranked number 72, but do not let that ranking fool you, baby. Wake Forest is for real. ACC competition, Cal versus Wake Forest. Yes, we're still in the Pac-10. It will be that way for the whole dynasty, but we know what has gone on in real college football. Jacobs gets up to the 17th yard line. Now we give it to Beast Mode, and Marshawn Lynch gets dragged down after a gain of two. James Bowie lets that thing fly, got caught by Lawrence Harris, and that's going to be a solid pickup. So third down and five. Yes, we run the ball on third down and five. We pick up a first down, brought down by Butler. Play fake. Bowie lets it fly deep, and that pass will fall incomplete. Looking for McFadden. Now Bowie going to roll left, throw it to a wide open to Sean Jackson. And that's a first down right in the heart of that defense. We go up the gut again. Marshawn, gain of four. Second down and six. Marshawn gets the carry. Got some decent blocking initially, but the block, the blocking broke down. And now we got the fire it on third and four. Two number four. And Lawrence Harris with another catch in the first down. We get the ball to beast mode. Couldn't quite get away from more, but it will be a gain of around eight. So second down and two from the 18-yard line. Beast mode fighting for every inch. And Marshawn Lynch picks up the first down from the 15. Going to give it to him again. It could be a 30-type carry game for him as he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal. And Marshawn Lynch, I believe that's touchdown run number four this season. First down and 10 to go run the ball. That's Barclay. And Barclay is going to pick up Nada. Brought down by Suggs. They go up the gut. Barclay's like, bring me down now. Running people over. And he gets chased down from behind by Kyle Daniels. Third down and four, and we get off the field. Big time play there. And we are walking away with the football as we throw it to d -Jax. Down that right sideline, all kinds of speed as he separates. Gone. Touchdown, Cal. Deshaun Jackson. Touchdown, Cal. Berkeley, we look to have a crazy offense. And our two best players are a sophomore, Marshawn Lynch, and a receiver who's a freshman in Deshaun Jackson. So that is a good look for us. There goes White on the kick return. Gets a mean block and forced out of bounds by Andy Washington, our starting strong safety. Now they're going to throw it, and that pass will fall incomplete. Wake Forest got to do something on this drive, you would think, being down by 14 already. And Barclay goes nowhere. Peters gets in there for the sack or for the takedown for loss, the TFL. There goes Slaughter. He makes the catch right there. Brian Slaughter's first catch of the ball game. Jones gonna let this thing fly, and that pass will fall incomplete. Looking for Chris Barclay. Now they give it to him up the gut, and he's gonna get wrapped up and brought down fairly quickly to end the first quarter of play. So third down and seven. Second quarter action now. Jones has it, and Victor Jones throws it. Caught by Slaughter. He gets loose. I was using Andy Washington, and sometimes when the camera goes to that right side, you don't see it till it's too late, and the receiver was left open. Now they're going to find their man, Justin Jackson, in the big tight end, rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling into that end zone. Victor Jones, excuse me, yeah, Victor Jones, the quarterback, rolled to the right side, threw it back to Jackson. He makes the catch and makes everybody miss until he gets seven up on the board. Marshawn up the gut for a gain of five. Looking downfield. Bowie still looking. Now he decides to keep it. He's going to pick up a yard. And now we're looking at third down and three for the 26-yard line. Bowie looking downfield. Going to throw that thing. And that pass will fall incomplete. But pass interference. So it's going to be an automatic first down. First and 10 for the 33. Give it to Marshawn on the ground. That's what we do. That's what we love. That's what we know. And we pick up a first down right there. Nine carries. 58 yards plus a touch. He under pressure. Bowie looking downfield. Throws a strike to Sean Jacobs. James Bowie's arm talent is, is something to marvel at. We're going to dump this one off to Marshawn, running back screen, and he's going to pick up a gain of around 15, and that's five straight completions for Bowie. Can we make it six straight? Yes, we can. Another screen pass to Marshawn. Gets a mean block, cuts it back inside, brought down by two Demon Deacon 
defender. Second down and four to the end zone we go, and that pass is broken up. Great play right there by their dime cornerback. And now it's going to be third down and four. Bowie has it. Bowie throws it to Deshaun Jackson, gets it to the end zone again. Two touchdown passes, both of them going to number one, Deshaun Jackson. So White on the kick return, going to get met before he can get past the 20-yard line. So first down and 10 from the 18-yard line. There goes Barclay, trying to get loose. He's going to get brought down by Demps. So second down and 10 from the 18-yard line. Barkley loose. And Barkley to the 50. Barkley inside the 30. Peter's giving chase, and he can't chase him down. An 82-yard touchdown run has cut the lead down to seven. So only two minutes to go here in the first half. We're going to run the ball, Marshawn. Get that clock moving because we do not want to give the Demon Deacons the ball back with any time on the clock. Now we give it to Kyle McQueen. And he's going to get loose down that left sideline for a first down. From the 50, go back to McQueen. And McQueen brought down by the face mask. That was Butler who brought him down. Tack on 15 more yards. So we're up to the 23-yard line now. Bowie dropping back, throwing it to Jackson. A tough catch. But he climbs the ladder and brought down by two defenders. First and goal from the six now. Rolling right. Throwing it. It's going to be intercepted. We try to get the ball to Sims. And it's intercepted. That's Zach Shack with the pick. As we try to get the ball to our tight end, Sims, who he, he does not have a catch so far this season. Anyways, that's going to take us to the second half of play. We had a chance to at least walk away with a 10-point lead. Instead, the lead is still at 7, and the Demon Deacons get the football first to start the second half. Andy Washington on special teams brings them down. So first down and 10 for the 22-yard line. So Wake Forest will come out in that 12 personnel. So from the 22, first and 10 to go up the gut and Barclay. Gets loose, and Chris Barclay right up the gut for a first down brought down by Myers. Now halfback pass. Barclay looking for Slaughter. Slaughter makes the catch in between two defenders, and he's gone. Touchdown, Wake Forest, and they have tied this thing up. So usually this halfback passing play doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does work out just like this. More times than not, though, it's usually a blunder, but hey, it is what it is. Work that time. So on the kick return, we're not going to get to the 15-yard line. First down and 10 from the 14. We give it to Beast Mode. And Marshawn going to get all that he can on that play. 11 carries, 77 yards. That's an average of 7 yards per carry. My math is decent. We're going to pick up a first down right there, 12 for 89. Now we run the ball one more time. Brought down by Moore. Second down and 8. Bowie looking. Bowie throwing it. And that pass caught by Deshaun Jackson. The ball floated. But he went up and got that thing and brought it back home for Mama. That pass broken up by Butler. And now we're going to be looking at second down and 10. Go with the direct snap. And they knew it was coming. And they get good penetration. And we get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Looking down, Phil going to throw this one to Harris. Broken up by Moore. So Jesse Moore with the stop. And we get the ball right back to the Demon Deacons offense. And Chris Barclay gets this one up to the 27-yard line. Toss play the other way, and Johnson, the cornerback, gets up in there for the stop. Second down to 14, Jones to the left side. That pass caught by Smith, breaking tackles, breaking hearts as he weaves through traffic for a Demon Deacons first down out of the gun. Victor Jones, that's a fly. That pass will hit the grass. So now it's going to be second down to 10 for the 37. They got three tight ends out there, and we get the penetration we need. Andy Washington with the TFL. Jones looking downfield. Going to throw it. That pass incomplete. And we get the stop that we need him. So still a 21-21 game. We're going to run the ball with Lynch. Up the gut. He's going to pick up five. From the gun. Tossing it to the left side. And that pass will fall incomplete as we try to find Sean Jacobs. Third down and five. Bowie looking. Gets hit. That pass sails over the head of the Sean Jackson. And we go three and out. So on the ensuing punt for the 2025, and that's Chris Jones on special teams laying the lumber. The ball came out, but Wake Forest does recover. So from the 27-yard line, toss play, trying to just keep him contained, and we do just that. But Kyle Daniels is shaking up. So second down and 11, Jones going to try to get loose, and Suggs is there for the stop. Third down and nine for the 28-yard line. They're going to go to the air here. They throw it over the middle, and Suggs is there to bat it away. 
So D Jacks on the punt return. Gets up to the 15, to the 20, and met at the 22 yard line and goes no further. And that's going to take us to the fourth. So 21 21 still to score. We're going to get up into McQueen. And McQueen going to try to get busy. And he does get busy down that left sideline. First down from the 37. Give it to McQueen again. And McQueen, the senior. Working his way upfield for a gain of nine. Now we give it to Beast Mode, and he gets tracked down at the line of scrimmage. Third down and one. We're going to give it to him again. Breaks a tackle and picks up the first down by the hands of a chinny chin chin. Now Lynch bottled up but not boxed in. He gets out of there. He's going to pick up a gain of around 20 in the first down. Buck 71 on the ground for us. A buck 20 for them. And a lot of that came on that 82-yard touchdown run by Barclay. Good decision here by James Bowie just to throw that thing away. Second down and 10. Give it to Beast Mode. That's always a good decision. To the 30. To the 25. Breaks a tackle and finds his way inside the red zone. 19 carries. McQueen, he's going to get a carry here. We thought Marshawn might get close to 30 carries today. That's going to be carry number 20. Inside the 10 and has the first down. So the Demon Deacons look, look like they're breaking down on defense. We get a ball to Beast Mode. Breaks a tackle but stopped. At the five, second and goal. We give it to him, breaks a tackle, but met in the backfield. So we're going backwards, third and goal. Bowie going roll left, throws it over the middle, broken up by Butler, and we're going to have to set up for a field goal. So we drove all that way just to get three, and the touchdown could win it for the Demon Deacons. First and 10 for them, out of the gun, Victor Jones, design QB keeper, and Suggs is there to lay him down at the line of scrimmage. They give it to Barclay. And Andy Washington with his second TFL today, his fourth tackle overall. Third down and 11. They fired this one deep. They got behind Johnson and Washington. Myers giving chase, and he's going to catch up to him. So first and 10 for the 23-yard line. Barclay going to get the carry. He's going to get dragged down that Suggs with another stop. Gain of two on that last play. They're going to run the ball here. And Barclay gets loose and has a first down. Peters with the stop. Minute 04 on the clock. They're going to try to set up a screen pass, but it took too long to develop. And we get in there for the sack. Second down of 14. Toss play. And he's going to get dragged down behind the line of scrimmage. Suggs with another stop. Third down of 15. Under pressure. And Demps gets in there for the stop. Exactly what we needed. We got the sack. And we are off the field. We hold them to a field goal. We have two timeouts. 48 seconds on the clock. Bowie dropping back. Bowie going to let this one fly. Intercepted. Jesse Moore. He's been making tackles all day. Now he gets his hands on the football, and that could be all she wrote here. That pass caught by Lewis, but the hit knocks him out of bounds. That's going to stop the clock. We still have two timeouts. Going to take a shot deep here. That pass broken up by Peters. Was hoping that he could make the catch. Third down and seven. Jones has it. Jones going to throw it. It's caught by Slaughter. And he's in the end zone yet again. So 31-24, two timeouts, minute 31 on the clock. Man coverage across the board. We're going to take a shot deep. Harris has a step. Harris brings in the football on a perfect pass, a Dawkins dime. First and 10, we fake it to Lynch. Looking downfield, 15 seconds on the clock, and we throw a strike to d -Jax. Touchdown, Cal Barkley and the Bears. Have tied it up, but there goes Diggs getting all the way up to the 38-yard line. Eight seconds on the clock. They fake the toss play. Jones rolls right, sets his feet, throws it deep. That's going to hit the cheerleaders in the head. So one second on the clock. We can have no foolery here. Jones has all day. Now he steps up trying to buy more time, throws it on the run, and the power was not there in his arm to get the football down to the end zone. So overtime, 31-31. First overtime possession here. They're going to run the ball, and Barclay gets brought down in the backfield. Second down to 13. They're going to run the ball, and Barclay, spin move, another spin move, making everybody miss, and a third spin move to get into the end zone. So now we have to match him with a touchdown, or this thing is over. Marshawn with his own spin move, and he's going to work his way up to the 17-yard line, gain of eight. Quick pass to D-Jax, and that pass falls incomplete. So third down. Clearly it's four down. Terry can go to the back of the end zone, and Harris makes the catch. 38-38, overtime number two. We start off the second period with the football. There goes Marshawn getting away from two defenders, and 
Picks up a first down from the 11. Give it to him again. He's going to go untouched. A two-play drive. And we have the lead 45-38. They're going to run the ball. Barclay. He's still on his feet. Finally gets dragged down, and that's going to be a gain of nine. Second down and inches. They're going to run the option. And we're there with Washington, his third TFL today. Third down and one. Barclay trying to get loose, and it's not going to happen, but he does pick up the first down. So first and 10 from the 13. Barclay up the gut. Gets away from Washington and gets into the end zone overtime number three. So first down and 10 for the 25. The Demon Diggers, if they score a touchdown, got to go for two here. Barclay makes the catch. They line him up at receiver, and he's showing off his hands there. First down and 10 from the 12-yard line. We got some pressure, and that pass falls incomplete. So the pass rush coming through when we need it too. Looks like it'll be another halfback pass and we get in there. Dials with his second tackle for loss. Third down and 17. They throw it. That pass caught by Lewis, but that's not going to be a first down. So set out the field goal team. Kick is up. Kick is good. So if we score a touchdown, this thing is over. So when we come out running the ball or throwing it, we're going to go to the air. We're looking down. Field Deshaun Jackson has it, but the hit knocks the football loose. Now we will go to the ground on second down and 10, and we will pick up a first down gain of 11. From the 14, give it to Marshawn again, finds running room, breaks the tackle down to the three. So first and goal, give it to Marshawn again, and they get into the backfield for the stop. That's Butler with the tackle, 193 yards from Marshawn. Can we get one more or two more just to get into the end zone? Not going to happen there. Third down, Bowie rolling right. And Bowie, he's going to get stopped, and they do get a goal line stand. The Butler brothers do the job. Ryan Butler wearing 40, Sam Butler wearing 51. They must be related, and they play like they're twins. Anyways, 48-48, fourth overtime. We get the ball first. McQueen, he gets the carry. McQueen coming through when we need him to. Marshawn a little bit gas, gave him a breather. Now we're going to throw it to D. Jackson. We're in the end zone just like that. So we're going to go for two. Little wildcat offense out here as we have a receiver, Foster, at quarterback. He's going to use his speed to get into the end zone. One of the faster players on the team. And that's saying some when you have players like Deshaun Jackson on the team as well. Barclay to the left side, brought down by Demps. Loss of one. Second down and 11. Barclay up the gut. He's going to get brought down. Is that Demps again? I believe it was. Third down. Jones has it. Jones looking to throw it. Takes a shot deep. Broken up by Johnson. Victor Jones has it on fourth down and 10 out of the gun. He's going to be under pressure. And he goes down. Dials with the sack to end the ball game. And that's exactly what we needed. The Gatorade bath for Coach Drew Hayward. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. So we come back. And it just it was a tight game the whole way through. But to, in order to force overtime, we needed a touchdown. And that's exactly what our offense gave us. So hopefully, hopefully we will have a great season. I'm not really expecting to go undefeated. Uh, we have USC on the schedule. Obviously, that's going to be one of the toughest games. Ranked number one. They got Matt Liner, Reggie Bush. Y'all know that team. Uh, we also got Florida State on the roster. They're ranked number five when the season started. Uh, we also have, I mean, the to me, the Pac-10 slash Pac-12 has always been a good conference. It's just never really been top-heavy. We never had a national power since, like, the USC days. Yes, Washington went this past year. But I thought consistently we've always been good throughout, like, the middle of the conference where some conferences kind of taper off. You have great top teams, and, like, the rest of the teams are just kind of bottom feeders. But anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love. Hustle.